Hey guys, how are you today? All right, so I'm here with a new project. I didn't really need to start a new project, but I did anyway. All right, so I got this idea from Shannon Green and she posted a video about these little black patent leather, fake leather cases um, a while back. She got that, I got them and she did too from American Science and Surplus. I'll put a link in the description uh, below. And she got hers and she turned it into a little journal. And for a long time, I thought, I have those parts, I'm going to do the same thing. And I just never did. So this is what I did. And if you want to see exactly how I did this and want me to um, show the assembly of it on camera, leave a comment in the description below. I have made two of these and the other one I made into um, a little travel bag. I'm going to show you in a different video. So leave a comment on either video if you want to see me may actually assemble the bag because I have more parts <laughs> so I can do more all right so it comes plain the case and then I took some of these Tim Holtz binder rings that I had and I put them in the center part here um, these binder rings come with brads um, I, I wasn't going to use the brads, I wasn't sure about doing that, but what I did was I took some thick thread and the binder rings come all the way to the very edge of this center flat part. In fact, it hangs over just like a millimeter on each side. So what I did was I stitched um, through the hole in the binder rings and, and the case with some thick thread. I also put some E6000 on the back of the binder ring so I glued it to the case in the center and then I also put some white glue on the threads on the inside and the outside to just really keep it really sturdy and strong so it's really not going to go anywhere. These cases come with two um, inner pockets on the left side, a this little flappy zipper little pouch on the right and then another po um, pocket with a snap on it over here. Um, it's a really thick little bag that can hold a lot. I have these index divider tabs from um, something that I bought. I forget what exactly now. And these are like manila folder paper and I, I've got a huge stack of them so I thought I wonder if those fit in there. They do. <laughs> so Tim Holtz makes and Ranger make a punch to go with these binder rings and I use that punch to punch the holes. You don't have to do it that way, but it's a little easier if you're going to do a lot of them. And then I put those in here and it zips up and fits just nice. There's plenty of room in here if I wanted to take this out with me to fit some pens and pencils, a glue stick, images, whatever. And I'll show you more about that when I share in the other video the other one. For this one, um, this is going to be a little glue book, basically, a little collage journal. So I uh, have some images here on my right and some a few quotes and a glue stick and some scissors and stuff. And so I'm going to work on a collage journal page. I'm going to speed forward through the process. I'll be back at the end.
so now that that part is done, I can take a single hole hole punch and come in from the back side. And repunch my holes. And then put it in my book. And there's enough room in this book for me to take these quotes that I pulled that I know I'm going to want to use in here and put them in here in this little pouch and any of these images that I know I'm probably going to want to use in here there's room to put the, at least the smaller ones in here and you could you could put them and your glue stick and pencil water brush all in here and take your glue book to go basically all right, that's it for right now. Don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye.